Yeah, Derek and Annie, the water is still running here on Saginaw Street in downtown Sanford, but the water levels nowhere near where they were this morning. We're told uh, earlier today those water would have been way over my head as it was rushing downtown Sanford here. I want to take a look at the damage that was left behind. It's kind of mind blowing to see, but almost every storefront on this block, the windows have been shattered out. You can see all of the stuff inside these stores now piled up against this door, everything damage. It's pretty uh, crazy to see what's happening here. Um, take a look, another window destroyed as we make our way down and all along the street, street lights, pieces of concrete, car parts, everything. And then look at this right over here, multiple car damage. This one totally overturned as this water continues to flow down this Saginaw Street here in Sanford. Uh, the damage here is incredible to look at. And like I said, this water level is nowhere near where it was earlier today. And that's what caused all of this. You can just see the power it had taking every car in its path, sending one into that storefront over there. As many people are out here just looking at what's happened here, um, as you said, the governor saying there is no casualties so far. It's pretty impressive uh, when you see the damage that's here. And I want to take a look at our Fox 17 sky view of the nearby Sanford Dam. That's where officials are really keeping a close watch. We're told that it's overflowing 60 to 80 percent, but they have no idea just how much damage has been done, if any more so. It could really add to the water levels that are flowing into Midland right now. So that's why they're keeping a cl close watch. And here in Sanford, the damage has already been done. People picking up the pieces. And as we said, it's pretty unbelievable when you see it. But for now, live in Sanford, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News.